I'm Costa and I run Pinnacle Stone Restoration. We are specialized in restoration of terrazzo and natural stone surfaces. I'm gonna walk you through how to restore over 100 years old terrazzo that is covered in carpet. The most difficult part of this restoration is carpet and glue removal. We remove carpet with electric scraping machines. It also can be done by hand, but electric scraping machines do much faster and a better job. The project is taking place in a historic university dormitory. The client decided to restore existing terrazzo rather than replacing carpet because carpet accumulates a lot of dust and bacteria. Generally, terrazzo is indestructible surface. Also, it's an easy maintenance. We are discovering multiple issues with this terrazzo. Carpet, glue, missing terrazzo, surface cracks, and gouged nail holes. It's repairable and requires a lot of work. The next step, we are removing carpet glue. We are removing carpet glue with the handheld scrapers versus using grinding process. When we use a grinding process, we can activate the quality of the glue and it will become sticky but by hand. We keep the temperature low and the glue it just comes out very easy from terrazzo. Then we grind terrazzo floors with grinding machines. We use diamond discs. We use coarse, medium and fine grids to flatten terrazzo. It's very important to level and flatten the terrazzo floor for honing process and for polishing process. And this particular project, we are going to use a dry grinding process just because we want to see the process during the wet grinding process. The slurry that is produced during the grinding prevents us to see the details of the terrazzo. After grinding process is completed, uh, we left with multiple nail holes and cracks to prepare them for a patchwork. We approach each like a dentist and we clean them out like a cavity. Then aggregates go into the holes. And when it cures, it will be ready to be grind down to flatten uh, and to level it to the existing terrazzo. The next step of restoration process is honing, which is done with diamond pads. We use water, of course, to lubricate the diamonds. So lowest grid will be 50 grit, followed by 120, 220, 400, and 800 grit. What honing process does, it ensures that no scratch is left behind the grinding process. Since it's a wet process, it will uh, accumulate a lot of slurry that has to be extracted by wet vacuums, followed by edge work. So edge work is the area that bigger machines don't reach, those tight areas. So every step has to happen with handheld machines in a smaller scale. Grinding process to honing process to reach those tight areas to develop the same sheen as the rest of the surface. The next step is the polishing. As 800 grit completes the honing process, 1500 grit starts polishing process. So 1500 grit followed by 3000 grit. And after that we use EIP systems. This is much finer diamond pads. When you polish terrazzo, you increasing the density of terrazzo so it becomes more durable because you're closing those pores. That automatically makes terrazzo harder and more durable. And now it's time to seal. We're using micro-topping sealer. It's more like impregnating sealer that goes into terrazzo and it prevents terrazzo from staining and it protects it. The last step is burnishing. Burnishing helps sealer to bring the terrazzo to its highest sheen. If I had to compare this project to other projects that we've done, I would say this stands for number 10 for sure because there are a lot of obstacles that we have to go through. And the uh, terrazzo is original. And I have to mention that it's about 5,000 square feet. 